So European gas prices had a turbulent patch since early August, despite gas storage having exceeded the 90% threshold in Europe. It reached a fresh 2024 high last month before selling off. What are the factors that have led to this increased price volatility in gas in Europe? And why hasn't the storage been able to cushion that? Do you expect this volatility, Tom, to continue as we enter the heating season? I would say the volatility is here to stay for a good few years, um, not compared to how what we saw in 2022 in the, in, in, in the summer shortly after the war started, but certainly compared to what we've seen recently, volatility that we've experienced in the gas market in recent months is, as I say, likely to continue. And that's really dependent is a function of the fact that Europe is so much more dependent on, on global LNG. So before, uh, LNG was a small part of the supply, and therefore if there was a uh, an unplanned outage or an event in the global LNG market, that would only resonate to a small amount in the European gas price. But now that all that marginal gas that Europe needs is coming in the form of LNG, be it from the US or from Egypt or from other parts of the world, the market responds to that. Um, and, and and so we expect that volatility to last. In terms of what is causing it recently, you, the US is a major source of uh, LNG for the European market. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, you know, as part of where the US liquefaction capacity is located, it is in a, in a hurricane uh, path. And so during the hurricane seasons, if it is a busy hurricane season and summer 2024, looks like a very busy hurricane season, then we have those plants in the US shutting down. And that, that has a domino effect in terms of the availability of LNG supply into Europe. And that then impacts the European gas price. So that's been a major impact, uh, as have additional sources of, sources of unexpected demand in, in the places such as Egypt. Mm.